The Ministry of Defense has announced that India has exported major platforms like advanced towed artillery gun system, Dornier 228 maritime aircraft, Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles, radar systems, armored vehicles, Pinnacle multi-barrel rocket launchers, and interestingly, the Defense Ministry has included the Akash missile system in the list of items exported to friendly countries. According to Sudanese media reports, Sudan had ordered the Akash missile system, and it is already in service with the Sudanese army, and a scale model was also showcased in a military exhibition in August 2022. The Indian Army is looking to procure 95 units of Grachand Light Combat Helicopter from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, which is a marginal reduction from the original envisioned fleet of 114 units. The Indian Army will be operating five units of limited serial production batch of Grachand helicopter to carry out final internal trials, before it signs the final order for 95 units. The Indian Army is also waiting for the commencement of trials for the Helena anti-tank guided missile system from the Prachand, that is scheduled to start by June this year, and will be concluded by end of this year. The Army chiefs of 10 African countries and senior military officers from 31 other African countries visited India last week, and took part in the first Indo-Africa Army Chiefs Conclave, during which India displayed its advanced towed artillery gun system, the Arjun Mark 1A e main battle tank, specialized armored vehicles manufactured by private companies like Tata Group and Kalyani Group, Pinnacle multi-barrel rocket launchers, made in India Israeli rifles like Teva and Negev light machine guns, and India has also extended a line of credit of $14 billion to 42 nations in the African Union for the purchase. The Indian Army has sought improvements in the parameters of the HAL-built indigenous light utility helicopter, with the autopilot system being of particular concern. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force will each receive six helicopters this year from the limited serial production, and after completing and validating the improvements requested from Hindustan Aeronautics on the light utility helicopter, the Indian Army plans to purchase 110 units in the first batch, and 90 more units in subsequent batches. The Air Forces of India and the US will hold war games at the Kalaikanda Air Base in West Bengal from 10 April. A squadron of the US Air Force's F-15 Strike Eagle fighter jets will be arriving in West Bengal for the Coop India series of war games, where the Indian side would be mainly fielding its Su-30 and Tejas Mark I fighter jets. The exercise will involve fighter training exercises, air mobility training, air drop training, and large force exercises. Interestingly, the latest variant F-15EX is also competing in the Indian Air Force's 114 MRFA fighter acquisition program. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has announced that it has received a letter of intent for the supply of strategic equipment for the defense sector worth 3,700 crore rupees that are to be delivered over the next 12 years. Several companies supplied components of the reactor for INS Eri Hunt nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, while the steam generator was provided by Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Oh, Mark,